up guys, Brandon Harrell from Red Max Entertainment and Event Production and today we're back taking a look at another ADJ product. Now this right here is the ADJ MyDMX3 RM. It's a rack mountable version of the MyDMX3 unit. If you guys are familiar with that, check it out right here. Now not only can this one be rack mounted, but it also has a standalone option where you can choose and assign up to 16 different scenes from your MyDMX software and save them into this device itself. That makes it perfect for clubs or restaurants or bars or other venues where it's more of a permanent install type application. This gives you easy use for the staff members and other non-lighting trained personnel that might be operating this or might need to operate the lights at the event or at the venue. Now on the front of this device you have 16 mappable port triggers. You'll notice you have 1 through 15 right on the front, and at the end you have one labeled B. This is for blackout, but you don't have to use it for blackout. You can assign it to any port trigger you'd like inside the MyDMX3 software, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. But they did that so you could easily assign that to a blackout and then still have 15 other scenes for throughout the night. Now, of course, this is your standard 19-inch rack mount unit, which is perfect if you have a rack mount unit system, uh, whether you're a portable or a mobile DJ, and you have a rack mount set up for your DJ controller, your power conditioner, your amps, whatever it is, this can go right in there. Or if you're a venue or a permanent install type application where you might have a rack mount in your venue for the servers, or if you're a venue or permanent install type application or user where you might have a rack mount for your servers or other venue processing, this might be a great solution for you. Now check it out, on the back of this thing you have a three pin DMX input as well as a five pin DMX input. So you can avoid converters if all the fixtures you're using are five pin or three pin or vice versa. You also have your USB input right on the back which allows you to plug in your computer along with a power input. Now the power input on this is really cool. It's a twisting lock on it, almost like a power con cable. Uh, it's got two little plastic pieces inside that when twisted can't be pulled out. So this is super helpful if this is going in a permanent install, you don't wanna worry about that cable getting knocked out. And also if you're using this in a mobile application, that's a great way to ensure that when your cases get bumped around, loading them in and out of trucks, this cable's not coming out. Speaking of the power, that is one of the differences between this unit and the MyDMX3 unit. The original MyDMX3 box is USB powered. This one has external power because it is standalone and doesn't require the computer to run. It does need power that way. Now that's basically it for the unit itself. It comes in a very sleek, robust, rugged housing, which makes it great for mobile use, transporting it. It's not gonna get beat up, especially if you take advantage of that rack mountable feature and rack mount this in case. Let's dive into the software. Now right now I programmed two quick scenes in ADJ's MyDMX3 software. I programmed one where the light is red. As you can see I have a basic LED shining down on this table in a red. And then I made one scene as a blackout so I could shut that red color off. Now if I step away from the computer and move over to the unit itself, as you can see there's a little blue LED indicator light showing that that button is selected. Now if I come over to my computer quick and remove the USB cable, as you can see, it's totally unplugged. In fact, I'll even unplug it from the back of the MyDMX3 rack unit case. Once those are both removed, this is now operating in standalone mode. So as you can see, I can quickly select the button 1, the light will come on red. Button 2 is a blackout. That's how I assign them in the port triggers. Now let's hop back into the software and I'll show you quickly how to assign them. Alright, so now that we are in the ADJ MyDMX3 software, I'm going to show you quickly how to program an additional scene and then assign that to a port trigger. So I'm going to take a scene here. Now I have a basic 6 channel LED plugged in. So I'm going to create a new scene under the edit tab. We're going to label this one blue. Now I also didn't label these so I'm going to jump in quickly and just label these red and black out so we have them assigned in the software itself. Now the blue one, I'm going to simply select my fixture here, make it blue by bringing up the blue channel. Now over here by the unit itself, the fixture actually came on blue so I know we're all set with that programming. Now to assign this to one of the port triggers on the unit itself, you're going to simply have this highlighted under the edit tab. Move over to your right, over here you'll see a triggers. All the way on the right, that's your port triggers icon. As I hover over it, you'll see it says edit port mapping. 
I'll simply click that, turn on port triggering by checking off the checkbox. Under device, you're going to want to select your MyDMX3 rack, and under port, you're going to want to select which port. Now you'll notice when I go up here, port 1 and 2 have a star next to them. That means I already have something assigned to that port. If I reassign this to that port, it'll override what was already there. So what I'll do is I'll go to port 3 now, click OK. Now that that's saved in the port, what we have to do is go up to Tools so that we can actually write these ports to the standalone unit itself. We're going to go down to Standalone. We're going to select all three of these. Now you'll notice I already transferred red and black out. So I don't have to transfer those again unless I want to clear the memory of it, which you could do right here. Simply wipe out the unit and reassign new scenes. But what I'm going to do is just add this blue scene that I currently added drag and drop it over here. Now you'll notice I have red, black, out, and blue over here under the My DMX3 rack. I'm going to simply click right. As you can see here, memory written successful, very quick and easy. I'm going to click OK to back out of this. We're going to jump back over to the unit itself and make sure it's working. All right, so check it out. We're going to unplug the My DMX3 unit from the computer. We're going to also unplug it from the My DMX3 rack itself. Now that it is in standalone mode, we're going to jump over to our button 2, black it out, jump over to button 3, there's our blue scene that we just programmed, I can go back to button 1, make it red, back to button 2, black it out, I can go from 1 to 3, make it red to blue, and as you can see these are touch sensitive and they respond instantly to your lighting fixtures. So that just shows you how quick and easy it is to assign, program, and save your standalone scenes to this unit itself. Now if you have more questions or you're interested in seeing more about the software itself, I'll leave a link right up above this video as well as in the description below to my software tutorial series on ADJ's MyDMX3 software. There's a full 11 part or 12 part series that goes everything from patching your fixtures into the software to downloading the software, updating the software, creating scenes for all your different fixtures and so on. So it kind of gives you a full tutorial. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. It'll kind of show you how to use the software more than what I just showed you. I just wanted to touch upon how to use this standalone feature in the MyDMX3 RM. Once again, guys, my name is Brandon Haverla from Remax Entertainment and Event Production. If you guys have any questions about what you saw in this video, software-related or hardware-related, feel free to reach on out to me in the comments below. Shoot me an email, find me on Facebook, message me on Facebook, and I'll be sure to get back to you and answer your question right away. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed.